queens welcome back to the goddessry of me channel where we have all the vibes okay on this one channel so i'm here showing you guys how i did my silk press and it came out so good and first things first this is my hair freshly washed conditioned all of that you name it and i'm just going to basically work on damp hair because i feel like damp hair is just easier to work with as you can see i'm taking out a section to start my blow drying process i actually ended up using the kiss hair dryer and i found this and discovered it on amazon a lot of people were extremely happy with this one and raving about the fact that it comes with so many attachments i think it, i believe it came with two different comb attachments and a diffuser if i'm uh, not mistaken but this re Retail for about $22 or $24, something around that. And yeah, don't be clowning the way I part my hair, y'all. Like, I be running on low patience for real, okay? So I'm starting with this next subsection. And this is going towards the front of my head, but it's like in the middle on the side. And I'm using my, uh, I think this is a... This is a beautiful oil that I got from Sally Beauty. I actually like this, and a lot of people said that it's very lightweight, and to me it's extremely lightweight, so I'm going to pop that on the screen for you guys so you can see which oil that I am using for my hair. Now, uh, when I blow dry, I like to just go and really take my time and comb through the hair. I'm not trying to be too rough, so it looks like I'm moving fast, but that's just because the hair is getting straight at a quick rate and the comb is just gliding through my strands. So you just kind of want to make sure that there's no tangles, the comb and the attachment for the hair dryer is gliding through the hair. All right, so we made our way to the front of the head, and I'm just doing the same thing, what you guys see me doing, just repeating the same process, and putting on the oil, no, excuse me, spray the hair, put, apply your products, you know, your heat protectant, your oil, whatever the case may be, and then uh, commence to blow drying, <laughs> and then just get it as straight as possible. You want to make sure that you can feel the breeze of the light air in your crib on your scalp, okay? Now, if, you, if you're a black girl, you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you can feel the air hit your scalp, then it's straight enough, okay? <laughs> real quick i'm just here to show y'all how sporadic you can be as you just want to be honey and still win okay i didn't have no specific order your girl started with sections and i ended up just blow drying the damn hair and doing what i just needed to do to get done okay so i did at the very end however blow dry my entire head once more going in the downward direction um so then there that is that <laughs> All right, once we're done blow drying, I'm going to do an additional step and just take my hot comb and just do some additional straightening before I hit it with the flat iron. <coughs> I ain't never just burned myself like that, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, I'm just going to continue to run my hot comb carefully, okay? Carefully through my hair and work my way to the very front like I said I'm not straightening it and like being slow as if I'm using a flat iron I'm going very quickly I'm just basically hitting the edges hitting the roots a little bit just so that I don't have to work as hard with the flat iron look I'm thankful for this guy given talent Explain myself in 16, still the biggest challenge Holy water drinking, know I got a sip of gallon And my conscience tell me I'm still carrying this baggage I'm trying to keep my balance, I fell apart that's tragic Some pieces I can salvage, if not then I gotta trash it I'm dropping bad habits, cause money moving backwards How you keep the inner peace when it's malice, I'm in your palace I feel like Moses when I'm talking to God I'm certain of my future, but I keep some faith in my heart I'm straight from the start now we've made it to the process of flat ironing the hair i'm going to start with my back section and i like to do four sections when i flat iron that's for sure um a section in the back well sorry two sections in the back and two sections in the front and you want to just work your way up to the top of your head i'm still in the back in this clip as well but i have to turn around because my back was hurting and I could not do the back anymore, like the back angle. So you guys are still seeing me flat out in the back. It just looks like I'm in the front. So I'm going to keep going and the hair should have movement. It should have a little body, you know, it should not be super stiff. 
no matter what you do uh, i don't recommend applying uh, heavy products unless you just want your hair to not revert and you want to mix some oil because oil and water or oil and humidity does not mix so if you did want to apply like more oil-based products or heavy waxes you can but it will definitely weigh the hair down a little bit i kind of wanted my hair to be in between weighed down and lightweight and feathered so i opted for this oil and a hippo technique so now i'm moving on to my front section and i'm going to be doing the section closest to my ear you want to make sure that you get as close to the roots as possible but don't sit there for too long or else you're going to create some humidity and steam in that area and they may actually frizz your hair back up so i'm just grabbing those roots as you see and sliding the flat iron down I'm taking my time because I want it straight. Alright, so I'm put my hair in a half up, half down, and I'm just going to cut straight across and clip my ends. I just really wanted to make my haircut even and just make it kind of like a bob and then get rid of any dead ends. I did not film the entire process because I was in the mirror all up in my head. I didn't even know what I was doing, but I, it came out good. But if you guys want to see how I clip my ends or trim my ends, I will definitely film that next time. Now, this last step is extremely crucial into achieving that body, that move in action you definitely want to bump every section of your hair i just bumped as many sections as i could and just took my time and you see how silky that's where the word silk press comes from your hair is supposed to be silky shiny beautiful darling like once i comb this out it's going to give a nice feathered look and then i'm going to go and proceed to wrap my hair so that i can take it down the next day or whichever however time this is the final result everything that i did in this video i pretty much just really took my time with i didn't do anything but like a side part and basically hold on y'all this little piece this little piece got me bent i'm in love i actually am not an expert at cutting ends or anything like that but i did the best that i could to manage my length and make sure that the hair looks more healthier than super choppy and just crazy hope you guys love this video of my silk press but be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe on this video. If you guys have any questions, I will be leaving all the essentials that I've used for my silk press in the description box for you guys. Of course, my daughter would decide to play with her toy while I'm in the middle of explaining to y'all some things and talking to y'all. This is crazy. So let me just go ahead and unpause her TV show so she can get back to what she was doing, chatting, and continue her scheduled programming. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video.